Hi folks, Max from HollandAndroid.com, where we get here on Android every day. Anyway, I'm visiting my parents here in South Korea, and this is actually my dad's office. Um, it is actually pretty nice. They just moved into uh, this really nice condo. Uh, it's like 23 floors up. Anyway, um, I was just walking around the streets. I was actually giving away one of my Korean Note 2s to one of my friends here um, because I was going to make a Korean Note 2 site, but I ne it never happened, so I was going to give it away. Um, anyway, I was at the SK Telecom cell phone store and I found this. This is a USB 2.0 flash drive that has an OTG uh, micro USB uh, thingy here. Um, so you can connect it to your phone, um, your tablet, uh, move data much quickly, um, you know, very quick. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, let's do a quick unboxing or quick review. Let's go do this, baby. Uh. Oh, folks, so I was uh, at a cell phone store in Korea and I noticed this. Um, this is a smart USB flash and it has USB OTG and uh, USB 2.0. And this is a 32 gigabyte. Uh, it cost me about 40,000 won, uh, which is about $40 in US dollars. And also, uh, you can get the 16 gigabyte version um, for about 30,000 won, which is about 30 bucks. Anyway, I've actually unboxed it already, but um, here we go. It comes with the flash drive. It comes with a little keychain for your keys or your phone. Um, and basically how it works, you can just press it. And if you press it out to the right, um, you will have USB 2.0. And it will stick there until you press this button. Uh, if you go to the left here, you'll get uh, micro USB. Now, most of the newer phones like the Note 3 I have here, uh, LG G2, uh, actually, probably the Note Note 2 also um, should work right out of the box. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to go ahead and just plug it in here um, to my Note 3. And you'll see USB connector connected, uh, USB mass storage connected. And uh, go ahead and use your My Files app or your favorite file explorer. And you'll see that USB drive A has been connected. Uh, let me go ahead and copy a file over to show you. Um, maybe you can get, get a feel for how fast this thing is. Uh, let me go ahead and copy from my download folder. And I know I have a bunch of ROMs here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy. Oops. There we go. Let me go ahead and copy this, this file here. I think it's a ROM. I'm not sure. Uh, let me go ahead and copy. I'm going to go to my USB drive A. I'm going to go ahead and paste it there. I'll paste it there. So very good way. Let me go ahead and actually copy a larger file and show you how quick this is. Um, there we go. Let me go ahead and copy uh, Jedi Elite 4.5, which I copied before. Um, details. This is about 1.16 gigabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and copy to my US drive. I'm going to copy over whatever there. I won't, it doesn't matter. It's going to be the same. Um, so I did this before and it took me about a minute and a half. So not too bad. I mean, you're going to just get regular USB 2.0 speeds. Uh, but this is great for those of you not technically savvy uh, and you don't know how to fi uh, copy files from your phone to your computer or maybe you're trying to uh, copy files from your phone to another phone or maybe you're trying to back up uh, all of your, you know, uh, movies and stuff onto a flash drive so it doesn't take up space on your phone. Uh, whatever the reason, this makes it very sensible. And I think in the next couple months, a lot of companies will start copying this. And I know there's no product like this that exists. Um, I looked everywhere, uh, but I found it at a cell phone store. It's an SK Telecom cell phone store. They have a bunch of them uh, on like every block uh, here in South Korea. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention I was in South Korea. Anyway, um, love this, and I'm just going to use it uh, often, obviously, for uh, downloading ROMs, maybe movies, my music, all that good stuff. So definitely a great way to copy over. And of course, you can use stuff like AirDroid app, uh, Fast File Transfer, or Direct Wi-Fi to wirelessly transfer files uh, between phones. Uh, but, you know, that does require some setup, and uh, I do like this because I install a lot of custom ROMs. And sometimes I, you know, have to start over and I have to download these apps, I'll set it up, and this makes it super easy. I plug it in, copy the files, um, you know, put, put it into my computer uh, or other 
Wi-Fi devices or my tablet um, or just have it stored there. Um, so definitely useful device and I think they will soon have it uh, everywhere and uh, this is a great idea. Anyway, that's how long it took to copy uh, about 1.1 gigabytes and I can go ahead and uh, plug it in to my computer and let me go ahead and plug it into my computer and boom shakalaka. We've got uh, we got data here. So simple idea, very nice stuff, um, highly recommend it. And uh, I'll try to pick some up uh, to give them out as a contest or something. I know some of you probably want to get super high on Android uh, with this awesome little um, USB OTG. And I know um, uh, WW Josh Do, Josh over at channel WW Josh Do, he loves using his uh, OTG cable along with the USB flash drive um, to install ROM with his tour recovery. I'm sure he'll love it. Um, definitely, I'll, I'll probably send him one of these. Um, that will that way it'll make his life easier. Um, yeah, that's about it. And thanks guys for watching this video. As always, if this video has helped you uh, get a quick look at the future of Android, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there or over there. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay here on Android.